Hey everyone, this is Krypton Tricks channel. It seems that a big part of the crypto industry is fast asleep. Bear markets scared some developers away for sure, but there are still many interesting projects coming out. And they even bring something new to the table. Today we will take a look at the project that created quite a buzz on Twitter recently, SWE. About SUI. SUI is a permissionless layer 1 blockchain that is designed to provide scalability and low latency for simple day-to-day -day tasks, such as asset transfers and payments. This is possible due to parallel transaction processing, which means more efficient use of processing resources and increased throughput. The platform is written in Rust and supports smart contracts written in the Rust-based programming language called Move. The move was originally created by Facebook to develop the DM blockchain, or Libra as it was once known. Since the project fell through and the co-founders of Mist and Labs, SWE developers worked on the DM, they decided to create on their own blockchain. Sounds interesting, let's look at it in detail. Architecture at its core, SWE is a distributed registry that stores a collection of programmable objects, each with a unique identifier. Each object belongs to a single address, and each address can belong to any number of objects. Validators in the SWE network perform all transactions in parallel, using high bandwidth serial broadcasting. As a result, SWE's blockchain provides greater speed and scalability by optimizing the process of simple transactions. It is possible because transactions retain their final state no matter how many times they are repeated. This is especially important in blockchain and payment systems to protect against duplicate transactions that could result in the receiving a payment twice. Security SUI was designed with a number of security safeguards in mind. First, you can use assets only if you own them. Authorization is done with a signed private key belonging to the asset owner. Second, shared assets can be managed by anyone. The additional access control logic can be implemented with a smart contract. Third, transactions can only be performed on assets according to predefined rules set by the creator of the smart contract. As soon as a transaction is completed, changes to the assets or new assets created are saved and available for further processing. And finally, all transactions on the SWE blockchain are transparent and can be verified to ensure that processes are executed accurately. Although the network operates through a set of independent validators, all security properties are preserved even if a few validators do not follow the protocol. Tokenomics Validators are defined by users who are delegating their SWE tokens. This is a native asset of the network and is used to pay for gas and rewards. SWE token is also used for blockchain management voting and protocol updates. The total supply of SWE is 10 billion tokens. As far as I know, there is no detailed plan for distributing the tokens, other than that a percentage will be liquid at the launch of the core network, while the rest will be transferred and distributed as incentives for staking. The network also introduced the storage fund, which redistributes stored fees for past transactions to future validators. Testnet the SWE stimulated testnet was launched in August 2022, gradually introducing key features to stress test the network before moving to mainnet. The testnet will be divided into different waves, each consisting of two tasks called Sync, which is an operational task, and Swim, a developer task. There is no clear timeline for the launch of both the token and the mainnet. Conclusion the SWE team certainly likes the challenge. While most crypto projects are waiting for better times, these guys decided to create something awesome. SWE is written in a new smart contract programming language, which could have been an obstacle. But since the move language is based on Rust, potential projects should have no problem developing on SWE. 
In the last few months of the bear market, we've seen a shift towards protocols that pay attention to users' needs, the apps with real-world utility, and very interesting games that are the opposite of P2E. In addition, we are seeing more and more countries starting to work on regulating stable coins, which means the demand for user-friendly protocols will grow. Swiss architecture makes it an ideal platform for DeFi games and payments, because they typically use simple transactions. Such transactions can be executed in near real time and are not limited to the base unit. I will continue to track Swiss progress and keep you up to date. Please subscribe, like and share this video if you think anyone could get value from it. Good luck guys, bye!